Do you want to be rich? Do you want to live a life of abundance? If that is you, then you should pay close attention to this video because I will be outlining the three habits you should do every single day so that you can maximize the chances of you to become wealthy in the future because a lot of people on this planet they do not prepare themselves for retirement and hence retire dead broke we don't want to be like that as high achievers we deserve better than being average and this is why you should pay close attention to these three tips especially to the final point where i'll be revealing the number one tip that i've used to transform my financial situation and what my mentors also shared with me to really accelerate my status to financial success so now on to the first point and that is to always educate yourself the financial education system i believe has failed us all we don't know how to do money from school university we've been taught this theory i reckon theories or bs You've got to be able to apply theory into practice because what you know is the same, it's not the same as doing. So you don't apply knowledge. Knowledge is not power. Application of knowledge is power. Most people just know it all but don't apply it. So make sure you study financial circumstances in regards to how you can improve your current circumstances so that you can move forward. For example, read a book on shares, read a book on property. Back then, I was never taught how to do money at university, even though I came from a finance degree. I remember a long time ago, I just never thought about investing. And I was wondering why I was so broke. Because so all the money I earned from my part-time jobs while uni, I remember just saving it up. But day after day, my bank account used to run out of money all the time. Do you get the feeling? Where the bank account always runs out of money before your next paycheck. That was me. All I did was got money and then spent it all. And I didn't know any better because my financial literacy was literally zero. Although I have had a finance degree, but as I said, I remember before when I was into that moment, I wanted to spend all the money, I wanted to have fun, and I didn't care less. And this is why day after day, I keep running out of money. I keep getting frustrated. I even considered stealing money from my parents just to sustain my exorbitant lifestyle. And I felt feeling very sad every single day. And I wanted to change somehow. And it was an awful feeling. Awful feeling of being broke. And I wanted to change somehow. So my parents, they raised me so much, it took so much time to care for me. And yet I was dead broke. And I hated that feeling so much. This is why I wanted to change back then. This is when I reached out to a mentor, someone who's a very successful property investor, and asked him, hey, how did you build that wealth? How did you do it? Why, why am I so broke and why are you so rich? What's the difference? What did you do differently? And he began to show me all these tips on how he invested in property to build wealth. This is why today I want to share with you just the, the three tips I've learned from him. And the three tips, the first one was educate yourself. That's what he told me. He told me to educate myself every single day so that I can really figure out how to build wealth because most of us, we're not taught to do finance. I wasn't taught how to buy a property. I wasn't taught how to structure a loan. I wasn't taught about anything. So the first step I did was to educate myself every single day. So rather than watching TV, dramas, I used to be addicted to kind of stuff. Don't go anywhere near that. Now I read one to two hours every single day on finance, property, personal development. Educate yourself. Look at the rich. Warren Buffett, richest, one of the richest men in the world. He still reads freaking 500 pages a day. Can you believe it? You may think, oh, it's a waste of time, but this is why they're so successful. It's because they keep educating themselves every single day. Practice makes perfect. Commit to mastery. That is what generate results. Not just read for one time and then live it. It's a lifeline journey. So I want you to really sink this in. Make sure you read every single day to educate yourself. That is the first point. Down to the second point. And that is 
to surround yourself rich with rich minded people with an abundance mindset not those people who are broke and all they talk about is what they're gonna do in the weekend they're gonna go out to the bar and party and or they're gonna play games they're gonna watch sit down watch Netflix not those broke people it's their mindset the average mindset their habits are contagious so if you hang out with those people you'll become like them you drag their you adopt their low standards because as high achievers we've got very high standards so you've got to hang out with those people who set their bar really really high above the norm you want to rise above the average you got to behave like a weird person because most people they conform with other average people this is why the majority of people on this planet they are just average and we don't want to be average we want to really live life to its truest because we only got one shot at life the worst thing you can do is go to retirement they're broke and regret that you have taken action nothing is worse than the pain of regret this is what Jim Rohn once famously said you've got two choices two pains in life one is the pain of discipline or two is the pain of regret and the pain of regret is the worst of them all. So do not regret. Act now. Take action now on your financial future by surrounding yourself with like-minded people with abundance mindset who love money, do not want to be rich, yet they're humble and willing to learn. So those are the people you want to hang out with. Now until our last point, and this is the most important thing of all. And remember, once I adopted this tip, my life has transformed. And that is to really treasure what you have right now. Now, why is that? Most people, they pursue money. Now, why isn't money a good thing? Because if you pursue money and not, that's the end goal. You gotta focus on the process of getting money. So it's like looking at your muscles and go, grow, without focusing on going to the gym and doing the hard work. So rather than focusing on, oh, I've got to get $50 million by the end of my lifetime, that's going to stress you out and burn you out. Guaranteed. That's what I used to do. I always aim for, oh, I've got to be rich and I'm going to you know, rule the world. That's a broke mindset. Money is value. So rather than focusing on getting money, focus on giving value. Because money is just a reflection of how much value you give out. Does that make sense? So make sure... You focus on giving value to others. Once you give value to others, they'll be giving you money already. So rather than focusing on getting money, just focus on giving value. That is what the rich do. They focus on solving problems, adding value to people's lives. Whereas the broke, they just focus on money and you know getting that fancy car and stuff like that. That is what, what holds people back. They just think about money, work for money. Remember Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki? He talks about how you should never work for money. When you work for money, that's when you know you're in a dead-end job. You should move somewhere where you can add value to people's lives so that you can earn money with an abundance mindset. Because broke people, they've got a scarcity mindset. They only think about what they can get and what they can't give out. Whereas the rich, they think about how they can give value to everyone. They've got that abundance mindset. So two completely different mindset. And that's the final point. Be good at giving. Don't focus on money. Thank you very much for listening. And I'm summing up. The first point is to educate yourself regularly. Improve your financial literacy. Because the rich, you want to be financially successful, you've got to be financially fluent. Number two Surround yourself with winners, with those who are successful, those who are also on the path of successful. Don't hang around with negative, average, broke people because you'll remain there. And the final point is to not chase money. It may seem weird, but it's not. This is how you stuff up in life. Make sure you chase the process, giving value to others. Because that is what life is about, isn't it? To give value to others. Thank you very much for listening. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'll be making a ton more of these videos on getting rich and building that abundance mindset so that you can live the life of fulfillment. Thank you very much for listening. See you on the next video soon. Take care.